Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a third year fifth grade teacher in West Michigan. And today I have parent teacher conferences for the majority of the day. I'm gonna get ready while we're talking by the way. So anyways, I have parent teacher conferences today from one o'clock until eight o'clock. And how my school does it is we have two days of parent teacher conferences. It's always a Thursday and a Tuesday. So it's Thursday, we have a half day, and then we have conferences like all afternoon, all evening. And then the following Tuesday, so like next week Tuesday, we have a full day of school and then we have conferences from five o'clock to eight o'clock. So it makes for some really <laughs> late nights at school, some really long days, but yeah, I do enjoy conferences. And this year it has been kind of nice to have them all like through phone calls and virtually just because then it doesn't feel like it's as much work like setting up my room and like I'm not showing them as much stuff because I'm not gonna send a ton of stuff home. So there are some things that I do send home. I'll show you my sheet that I use probably once I get to school, but I basically just do like grades at a glance and then we go over those. So anyways, that's coming up today and hopefully it goes well and we don't have too many technical difficulties. In the fall, we had some technical difficulties and since then I have a bunch of different students than I did in the fall. My class this year has just been like, I don't wanna say like super transient necessarily, but it's just been like ever changing it feels like. And so anyways, I've had like, I don't know, a lot of kids come in and out. Like I only have a handful of kids who started the school year with me and are still with me. So yeah, it's just kind of interesting. A lot of my kids have come in like throughout the school year or some of them have come in like more recently. I guess it's throughout the school year. And then some of my kids ended up leaving. So my kids are just kind of like all over the place, you know? And so anyways, oh, I want to show you this. This is from Rare Beauty. I just recently got this. I wasn't planning on getting it, but I went to Sephora with my best friend, Melissa, who also has a YouTube channel, though she hasn't been uploading as much lately. So Melissa, if you're watching this, you need to upload some more videos. We want to see you. Um, but anyways, I went to Sephora with her because she like loves makeup and she always has like a bunch of stuff on her wish list. And I was talking to one of the really nice sales associates there and she was telling me about how this blush just came out and anyways i was persuaded to buy it she gave a great persuasive argument maybe that's an example i could use for my kids when i teach persuasive arguments but yeah she did a really great job just kind of pitching it to me and hashtag no regrets because i do really like this cream blush i just put it on with my like not beauty blender this thing is from sonia kashuk from target but yeah i have this rare beauty blush in the color nearly berry and i really 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 like it and it just feels like so good on my skin and I tend to get really dry skin this time of year so it's nice to have something that's like creamy and then yeah I just feel like it's like light and airy and it feels really nice so life is good so anyways I don't have too much else to say to you guys just hopefully today ends up going smoothly this morning we're not doing a whole lot we're doing like some of the stuff we have to do and then I'm gonna give them some like ketchup and pickles time which is just like catch up on what you need to work on or pick an activity if you're done with everything that you need to do and I always like doing that on half days because it just kind of allows us to catch up on some work that's not done but also I always have at least a couple of kids missing on half days and so it's hard to start a bunch of new stuff because I know that like some of my kids I'm gonna have to pull back to my table and reteach if I do that which this year it feels like I always have kids gone but that's besides the point so I don't really have too much else to say so I think I'm just gonna like speed this up and get ready and then we'll chat hello can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't Show me where the ending goes Honest, 
honestly don't I should be the last to know All in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know I saw on TikTok to put one of those Premier Protein Shakes in with iced coffee, and oh my gosh, it is so good. It tastes just like a caramel latte. It's so yummy. Not that it's like great for you, I'm sure. Like I'm sure those little protein things are not awesome for you, but they taste delicious. I wanna show you guys, I actually got this candle in the mail yesterday, and it is so stinking cute. It's from this company called Chalkboard Candle Co., and they have a bunch of different like teacher or school-themed candles, and I'm obsessed. They did gift this to me, but I'm not like sponsored or anything. I just like love small businesses, and I love candles, and this one smells so good. The scent is Crisp Sea Salt and Calming Orchard, and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. It smells like a really expensive store. That's what it smells like to me. So anyways, I think this is going to be the last time I see you before I head to school because I need to kind of hurry and get ready and then I will see you once I get to school. Okay, I just got to school and it's like weirdly warm, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to take off my cardigan and just plop it right there for right now. I'm wearing a dress I haven't gotten a chance to wear yet because I got it like during the winter and it's been, you know, cold. And so anyways, this is from a local boutique that I like to shop at and it was only $10, so that's exciting. So anyways, I'm gonna turn on all of the lights really quick and then we will chat, so let's do this. Okay, so I was just glancing around and I realized that I don't actually have a blank version of my grades at a glance that I give my students to take home for me to go over with their parents during our conferences. I don't have a blank one like readily available, so I'm going to insert a picture of it right here. But basically, I just go through some of their scores for the year. At this point in the year, I have quite a few different grades for them, so I can go through like their unit one test, through their unit four test for math, and show like what their goal is versus what they got. And then that way, if they've had some improvement, then we can talk about that, and that's always very exciting. I also put in all of the benchmark scores for like our reading tests and then what they got, so then we can talk about if they're below at or above grade level and then we just talk about their strengths and stuff like that this time I'm doing something a little bit different so on the back of the page I included what we're learning about right now so I can just briefly touch on that or if we don't get a chance they could look it over later and just kind of have an idea of what we're working on in class so yes that is my form it's nothing super fancy but I've just found that it works really well for me and the kids really enjoy it as well because sometimes it's really hard for them to figure out what's going on with their like report cards and other data that I sent home that's not created by me like stuff that's created by whoever it's created by I don't really know but when I send home those data sheets I feel like sometimes those can be really confusing for parents and for kids so anyways this just ends up being like a lot easier to understand so yes and it makes it way easier for me to do grades too because most of the stuff that I'm doing grades on is on that sheet like the big stuff at least and so then I already have this all on a piece of paper and I can just pull my copy out when I'm typing up their grades and it just makes it easy peasy lemon squeezy so yes I love doing that and I would share it but I know that everybody's is going to be a little bit different so I don't know how helpful it would be to actually share like a link to this if that's something you would want let me know but otherwise maybe just the idea of it you could like recreate your own oh I just remembered I actually bought something when I did a grocery pickup the other day for my classroom so I will show you it gets kind of dark in our room on these dreary days and so I bought another little floor lamp from Walmart let me bring it to the back and I'll show you where the lighting's a little bit better because I have a floor lamp at the back of the room so anyways I have no noticed that on our dreary days it is really hard to see on that side of the classroom so I bought this extra lamp to go over there and here's the front side so this is just a cheapy little floor lamp I think it was like seven dollars maybe so really inexpensive and I'm gonna stick it on the other side of the room I already have a couple of lamps in my room but I just think it's helpful to have some more because I don't like turning on the overhead lights just because they're like so fluorescent and bright and they hurt my eyes they're not dimmable in my old classroom you could dim lights but in this one you cannot and so anyways we leave like the light by the door on and then the lamps on and then the lights like the Christmas lights on which by the way my Christmas lights 
one strand of them must have like burnt out. Do you guys see that right there? So sad. So I need to get some new Christmas lights, but I'm not even sure like where to buy them this time of year. So I'll need to figure that out. Maybe Amazon or something, but I have quite a few things to get ready this morning. I need to just kind of set up my room, get ready for the day. And I only have like half an hour until the kids get here. So I think I'm going to let you go for right now. I might check back in before the day starts. We will see what happens. Also, this is the Spotify playlist that I've been listening to with the kids in class. I have Spotify premium, so it doesn't play the ads or anything like that because sometimes I think the ads are not appropriate. So I really like this one. And then the other one that I sometimes play is this one, which is calming nature sounds music. And this one's kind of cool because you can hear like birds and tree frogs and stuff like that in the background of the song. So I do really like this one as well. Hello, sweet friends. So we survived our half day. Not that there was like a whole lot to survive. I feel like half days are always pretty fun and they go by really, really fast. Our half day ends before our lunch would even normally start like an hour before our lunch would start. And so our day just feels like so short when there's a half day, but it went really well. We got some things accomplished and yeah, it was a good day overall. Also on half days we get to eat lunch together in the classroom They do like little sack lunches before the kids go home And so I always turn on a movie and it's just fun to like sit and eat with the kids and watch a movie together So that was fun. We didn't watch the whole movie obviously But like 30 minutes of a movie or maybe like 20 minutes of a movie and they chose to watch inside out And it was a lot of fun. I love that movie. So we were like cracking up while we were eating together So yes, and then I went and I swung by Starbucks and I actually had a free drink on my card And so I got this like massive iced coffee with sweet cream cold foam on top and then some caramel and sugar-free vanilla and it's delicious I haven't really drank like hardly any of it but let's start now so my first parent-teacher conference isn't actually until 1 45 and conferences start at one o'clock technically so mine is like a little while into when conference start 45 minutes to be exact so that's kind of nice that I don't have to like go right away I can just like sit let my food settle drink my coffee and get all nice and situated I've been working on planning for next week so I have my reading street curriculum book right here we're starting a new unit next week so this is unit five so I'm trying to get all prepared for next week, especially for Monday, because I'm hosting something called a learning lab. I don't know if my district actually still calls them that or not, but that's what they used to be called. And basically it's just where other teachers come in and observe a teacher teaching whatever lesson. And so I was asked if I could host a learning lab, which is pretty exciting. So that means other teachers are going to come in and observe me and like take notes and stuff to try to learn like, I don't know, different tips, tricks, all the fun things. So I was really honored that they wanted to come into my classroom. So I'm hosting one of the first year teachers who's actually on my team and then also I'm hosting another I believe first year teacher and then I think our lit coach is going to be there my principal might be there and then maybe a couple other people so they're going to be in the room while I teach an ELA lesson and they're just going to like take notes and stuff and like walk around the room and maybe like interact with the kids a little bit and stuff like that we used to do learning labs a lot and I loved them my first year teaching I got to go to a few and we would do them mostly for ELA but sometimes for math as well and it was just so cool to be able to go into other teachers classrooms Rooms. and then last year they kind of did away with them and I was super bummed because I really liked them I thought they were really cool but I think it was hard to get like substitutes and stuff like that and so anyways they didn't do them last year and now this year they're doing just like a very very small amount because I think that they realize like they are really beneficial but they're trying not to do them like all the time if that makes sense so anyways all of that to say I want to make sure that my lesson plans are like all good to go and I can rest easy also this weekend I am attending a conference virtually and I'm so excited it's the Michigan Reading Conference and Jacqueline Woodson is actually a keynote speaker and I'm so pumped so that is starting tomorrow night I think at seven o'clock I want to say and then it goes Saturday Sunday as well so I'm really really excited for that but I just have a super busy weekend coming up with that going on and then still needing to like prep my plans for Monday and all of that so I'm feeling just a little bit overwhelmed with like these conferences and everything as well but I'm sure it will be fine and yeah luckily all of my kids parents are super awesome but I do have like 17 conferences tonight yeah 17 did I tell you guys that yet I don't think I did 17 conferences pretty crazy so I'm talking like a mile a minute but I'm still gonna drink this iced coffee anyways and then I will talk to you guys when I get a chance to so cheers to conferences okay I survived all of my conferences and they went really really well it's always like so nice to be able to connect with the parents and some of my parents decided to do Google meet video calls and so it was just so good to be able to like see their faces too a lot of my parents just chose to do phone calls so that was like fine too but but yeah, it went really well. I am exhausted. It actually is like after nine right now. I had conferences all the way up until eight o'clock. And then at eight o'clock, I ended up going over and talking to my partner teacher next door. She's 
she's great. So we talked for a little while and then I was like, you know what, I'm here. I'm gonna film a couple voiceovers for a video that I was hoping to have go live tomorrow as I'm filming this. I wanted to finish editing it and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it while I have like all my stuff set up here at school instead of trying to go home and like know that I'll be cozy on the couch and stuff if I go home, you know? So I'm like, I'll just get it done. So I just finished editing that. I have it exporting right now. So I'm going to work on getting all of my stuff together and I like desperately feel like I need to wash my face. Like, you know that feeling when you've had your makeup on for too long? That's the feeling I'm having right now. Like I just need to like scrub my face. So I'm excited to go home and to scrub my face <laughs> and to call it a night, but successful long day of conferences and then more conferences this upcoming Tuesday. So I think that's gonna be all for this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know I have these like big old bags under my eyes now, so we're just gonna ignore those. We're just gonna pretend they're not there. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And let me know, do you prefer the day in my life videos or the week in my life? Or do you not care one way or the other? Cause I would love to know. So leave that in a comment below and I will plan on seeing you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, bye.